and I want to become a chess champion. Would you like to learn this incredible game with me? Today, we are going to learn the third lesson together. However, before we start, I have a little joke for you. The teacher asks Toto, where is Paris? Toto scratches his head. He thinks and thinks, and then suddenly Toto answers his teacher. Page 45 of the geography book. Okay, I am concentrating. Today I am going to teach you how to attack your opponent's king. To win at chess, you have to attack. If you wait, your opponent will attack you first and, in most cases, you will lose the game. It is true, it is much easier for a human being to attack than to defend himself properly. So the more you attack, the more likely you are to take advantage of your opponent's mistake. On the other hand, it is important to recognize which situations are favorable to an attack. Let us look at the first. If your opponent's king remains in the center of the board, as in this game, you must quickly open up the center. This means placing all your heavy pieces on the center columns and pushing the pawns. The result will be that your rooks and queens can attack your opponent's king without the pawns hiding it. It is true, at first, the central pieces form a sort of shield for your opponent's king, so you have to make them disappear before you can reach your opponent's king with your pieces. Now the king is in a bad situation. Nevertheless, what do you do when your opponent has made his king safe? There is no point in opening the center, because your opponent's king is not there. This time, you have to open his castling pawns. These three little pawns are his shield. If you can make them disappear, or at least make them move or double up, you will be able to attack him much more easily. Look, here is how to do it. Did you see it? His hiding place is destroyed, so we can easily attack him with our pieces. The third clue that you can attack your opponent's king is when he is weak. When is the king weak, you ask? Well, it is when the king is not well hidden behind pawns, or when he is in the center of the chessboard, as in this position. Look, the king is out of his first row, he has no pawns around him to protect him, we can easily attack him with our pieces. Like this. Now, that king is going to be in real trouble very soon. Well done, now you can do the exercises in your booklet. See you soon in a new video. Don't think, 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 don't think